Welcome back to Brit Speed, everybody. This week, I got to keep Mr. Chevy home with me. Well, and Frank, of course. He's down there, licking his paws. For the first 14 months, roughly 14 months, that we had Chevy, I got to keep him and raise him at home here and took care of him in between working and taking care of the house and taking care of myself and Frank and everything else. But when Frankie became injured and, and started showing signs of pain, Josh and I decided that it was a good idea for him to become a trucker dog and go on the truck for a little while while Frankie hopefully recovered and then the surgery happened. So for the past two, three months, Josh had Chevy on the road and it didn't feel right because he's my boy. Uh, Chevy will be going back on the truck off and on and, and obviously coming with us when I go back on the truck. I really missed him and it's been a really, really nice week having my puppy at home. So here's our week so far. Well, it's another new day. Another new fight between brothers. Frankie, they're crazy. He goes in here for safety when the boys fight. <laughs> He's a spectator. Diesel's going on the road with his dad, but this gold guy over here is going to stay with, with Mom and Frank. They've got to get all their playing in before Diesel leaves. Don't go after his chicken legs. That's not fair. Chevy's so submissive. Just having our morning coffee here in our very ugly rooster cups. But it's a rooster cup. Exactly. So it suits our kitchen. I'm taking Frankie with me on the trip. So. That's not funny. Not at all. You can't take my boy. Although he sure seems to be daddy's boy these days. Yeah, so after coffee, we just had some breakfast. After that, bye-bye, honey. Yeah, I gotta pack up the truck and get ready to go. This won't be a long one, though, but I'll still miss you. I'll be back soon. I'm gonna miss you so much. I'll miss you. I'll miss you. I'll miss you more. I'll miss you. I'm gonna miss you so much. Thank you so much. Let me bite your face. Bite you. Thank you so much. Frank. What? What are you barking at? Go see. Look out, Frank. Chevy, come on. What is it that you're growling at? <coughs> Chevy? 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 It's a fan. We have it on every single night at bedtime. Nothing has changed. It's the exact same old dusty fan. Do you guys need to go out? Well, Frankie, I have a little bit of a shocker for you. This happened overnight. I noticed when I was laying in bed, a lot of people had snow day posts for their kids not going to school. I was wondering where all the Manitoba snow was. We'd had too mild a year already. Found it! This is going to be funny. Frankie, you're so short. We may never find you again. Wait, Chevy. <laughs> Go ahead. Snow! <laughs> He's trying to dig out a pea spot. Oh, Chevy. 
Oh, you're so funny. Frank, you're going to the bathroom right at the stairs. It's the only spot that's not too deep for him. And it's still coming down. Chevy, no. You go into the bush. Go. Go, Chevy. You've got long legs. You're good. There he goes to the back of the house. Frankie, you want to go inside? Yeah. Too much snow for the little wiener. Trudging through it. Good thing he got so tall. And it's still coming down. Holy cow. Well, we had a nice relaxing snow day. But... <laughs> These boys are on guard right now. Our incredibly generous, kind neighbor out there on the quad just decided to pop into our driveway and start plowing our snow. We didn't ask him to do this, he just came on over. So I went out there and thanked him and told him once he's moved in, he and his girlfriend, we're gonna have him over for dinner right away. Chevy, who is that? Nice relaxing snow day and then our neighbor comes over and Chevy's just thrown for a loop. Who are you? State your purpose. They're such nice people. We really like them so far. We've met them a few times. And somebody, somebody's trying to guard the house, aren't you, Wiener? Oh, goodness. Look at those ears. He's on guard dog alert. You can relax. It's okay. Good morning. Another new day. You love mornings, don't you? Frankie too. Frankers! Very excited to go outside. Little do they know the snow is still just as deep, isn't it? Yeah? Okay, let's do it. Come on, Chevy! Whoa! You crazy! Chevy! Time for breakfast? You already had your breakfast. Don't pretend you're starving. How is it, Chev? Nom, 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 nom. Delish. Oh, my. I know most of you have already heard this, but Chevy is so spoiled, he won't touch his kibble without just a tiny bit of this mixed in. At least it's just a tiny bit. We don't feed them a whole bunch. It's like the tiniest little sliver and then we take a fork and mix it around. I thought I could trick him yesterday morning into eating without it because, you know, different environment. He's not on the truck. It's mom instead of dad. It's wiener instead of weasel. Nope. He wouldn't eat it. So I guess we're sticking to that vital life stuff. It stinks, though. That's the only reason I want him off it. It's making his coat smell funny. Kind of like a cat. What you got, Chef? Now while I make myself some breakfast, these two are just going to play with their toys. Frankie's got Hoot. Is that Hoot? He loves his Hoot. He busted the squeaker, though. He loved him so hard. Did you catch it? Good boy! So smart and so quick. Such a good puppy. He's really not a puppy anymore. He's almost 19 months old. He's in his 20s at least by now. But he's still my puppy. Forever. Just like this guy. Eight and a half years old, but still mom's puppy, aren't you, Wiener? Shabby! Come on! We're just going for a little walk around the driveway. It's been a long time since we've gotten out and gotten any exercise, so. Chevy, you having fun? Just around the driveway. It's still pretty chilly, but it's the nicest day we've gotten in a few weeks, so. Come on, Chef. Are your paws starting to get a little bit chilly? My hand sure is. What are you doing? Come on! Come on! 
Are you ready? Yum, 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 yum. Oh, are those good peas? I bet they are. Frankie, you can wait your turn. What are you doing? Troublemaker. Careful with your neck, little one. Chevy, careful. <laughs> You're such a brat. Frank. Merry Christmas to you too, Max. <laughs> Good movie, Chef. Well, we just had our driveway cleared, and surprise, surprise, it's snowing again. Oh well, such is Manitoba. Go Chevy, go, go, go! Come on, Chev. He's fascinated by all the little mountains in our yard right now. <laughs> He's been walking up to them and barking at them every evening. Chevy, what is that? Where are you going? Let's keep going. What? What do you see? Chevy. <laughs> Thank goodness we have such a big driveway. Go for a little stroll, get back to the door before it's too cold. Very happy about this. It's a lot of snow in one day. Wow. Come on, Chef. Let's go. Wrong way. Come on. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. What do you got? He's so happy. Such a happy guy. Always happy. It's a little chillier than I anticipated though, so I think it's time to go back inside. My hand is frozen. Get him, wiener. Get him, wiener.